hey, we're here today with a paramedic curriculum here at Ori Georgetown Tech, and these students are in their freshman year, which is the EMT part. That's the beginning part of that curriculum. And today they're learning the advanced airway part, which is the first part of saving someone's life. Instructor Chris Blaney explains the process to the students as they attempt to complete the exercise. The blade, insert the blade in the right side of the mouth and sweep the tongue to the left. Make sure your ET tube is ready before you get started. And not, so we've got to put it, it all not. together. It was not, so we didn't have our equipment ready. We don't have our tape. All right. It usually comes back. It's okay, correct. in on the right, sweep to the left. Put your hand on his, or your forearm on his head. When you get off his teeth, oh. lift the jaw up. The blade needs to go. You know, hold it down here. That's it. Lay under the epiglottis and you should be able to see the vocal cords and then pass the tube right through the vocal cords. She feels this new program will allow her students to better serve the community. I think for the future of EMS, making it more of a profession as opposed to an occupation, it's going to raise pay scales and make it more desirable as a career field with the degree program. Well, I know there's a lot of exciting people here, and even with Horry County Fire Rescue, Myrtle Beach Fire, they've got several people that have been at the EMT level that are now taking mm -hmm. the paramedic level, which is the advanced, and, and that's going to be a, a great asset to all the citizens and tourists in Horry County. Oh, absolutely. There's a huge paramedic shortage around the United States, and the more paramedics we can put in the street, the better for everyone. Academic coordinator Chris Batlow feels this is the best place to learn. In the beginning, that first semester is very slow for them. They're there to observe. They can do all the basic skills that they've been trained to do. They can do EKG work and IV work and push certain medications. The rest of it, they're there to observe. We call that our phase one internship. The next semester, phase two, they're pretty much able to perform all the independent skills that a paramedic would do, IVs, all the airway procedures, EKGs, basic and advanced, uh, chest decompression, reinflation of the lung, um, give any of the meds that's allowable by their scope of practice in this state. As they move into the last semester of their paramedic training, they go back out to internship again, where we expect them to be able to become the team leader. Now, I know I just said the entry level paramedics aren't the team leader, but they are the team leader for that particular incident. So. By the third semester, it's our goal that they become the team leader and that preceptor they're working with, with one of our agencies that work with us for internships, is able to then tell them what they need to do differently in that team leader role. These are beginning students. They just started this August. They're in their EMT basic training, so they're really, really just learning their basic skills. Um, Every Monday and Wednesday they have their lecture component for about an hour and 45 minutes they break and then they spend the rest of the day doing the same skills, but this is where they're learning their basic skills. You're aware as well as everybody else is with the Annie dolls we start in grade school with. Well these are same concept, only they talk, breathe, uh, their blood pressure works, pulses works, they produce EKGs, their lungs function, some of their internal organs will function. They really do everything but get up and walk at this point. So we can program those to respond to the positive or negative actions of the student. Same premise as, uh, and patient simulation was really born out of the uh, airline industry's flight simulation. We'd rather crash the airplane in a simulated room, just like we'd rather kill the patient in a classroom simulated environment than when they get out. Um, so that's been able to help us. We are working toward being able to have a mock ambulance. Now how that'll function, whether it'll be steady, whether we'll be able to move it or whether it'll be permanent mounted. We're not exactly sure how that's going to work yet. We're working with some engineering folks now to, to try to look forward to that. For Techno, I'm Todd Kartner.